Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm recording a puzzle called Pointing Thermos by Arbitrary. Um, this was a recommendation that came in um, telling me that this puzzle was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. I look at this and I say, there's going to have to be something weird going on with this because no way this is solvable as a normal puzzle. So let's have a look. So, uh, of course, there is the suggest a feature for Sudoku pad discussion happening on a video linked below. Um, yeah, please go check that out. If you've got a feature suggestion for Sudoku pad or want to upvote suggestions or talk about ways features could be implemented, go to that video. Um, hope you're enjoying KG constraints. Let's have a look at this. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have crop key dots. There's actually just Consecutive dots, which is basically um, cell separated by a white dot, must be consecutive. And then we've got pointer thermos. Digits along thermometers increase in value from the bulb end. So this digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this, which will be higher than this. Additionally, thermometer tips point towards a cell containing the digit within the bulb. Ah, the value in the tip indicates the distance to this cell. Holy cow, that's interesting. There may be other instances of the digit between the tip and this cell. Okay, cool. So, for example, if this was 1, 2, and 3, it is saying that 1, 2, 3 cells away would be a 1. Because 3 is the distance... So the thermometer tip points towards the cell, a cell containing a digit within the bulb. So three digits away from the tip is a one because three digits away is the digit within the bulb. That's fascinating. Okay, they're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the tips are going to have a maximum value. So for example, this is saying the distance from this away is one, two, or three. So this is a maximum of three. So this is two or three, this is one or two, because I can't be more than three cells away along here. This one is even more restricted. This can't be more than two cells away. So this has to be a two, and this has to be a one, and then two cells away is a one, because if this was a three, I'd have to count three cells away and I'm off the grid. So this is a two, this is a one, and this is going to have a rolling effect, isn't it? Because actually, oh, that's opened things up a little bit. So one is not in any of those and it's not in any of those. This can't be a one or that would have to be a two. This is a two. So that's a one. Now one is in one of those three cells. Now I can't put one partway along a thermo. So a one is in one of those two. Now, this is also quite constrained. This has to be a two or a three because the only distance it can point is one, two, or three. So this is one or two. If this is a two, that would be a one and that would be a one. That would be a one. That would be a one. That would work. If this is a three... This is a one or a two, and that would be a one or a two, and that would be a one. That seems to work. But I think I've got the same problem here. This is another one that has to be a two or a three, because one, two, three, but I can't put one partway along a thermo. So this is a one or a two, and it, whoops, I typed the wrong thing. I meant to be in center mode for this. This is a one or a two, but it can't be a one. So this is a two, this is a three. One, two, three along is a two, which makes this a three. This three makes this two, which makes this one. Two along is a one because of that. Now, one or two, sorry, three away is a one or a two, but it can't be a one. So that's a two making that a two. This is fascinating. This one means this isn't a one. This is a one. One can't be in those cells, those cells, that cell or that cell by Sudoku. Now, one is in one of those two cells, and one is in one of those two cells. Two is right there by Sudoku. Two is in, right, two is in one of those two cells, but that two puts two there, putting two down, two right here. Now, two has to be pointed to by that digit, because this digit is going to place a two 
on here. So this is one, two, three, four, five away, and that becomes a five. That's very clever. Do I want to like color thermos that are done? Because this thermo, actually, I could put a one here. This could be a one if that was one, two, if this was four. So this would be one, three, four. And I think that's possible. But this thermo is done because three away is a two. So that thermo there is done. Three away is a two. So this thermo is done. Two away is a one. So that thermo is done. Five away is a two. So that thermo is done. Actually, pretty much I could, any thermo that has the digits on it is done. So I don't need to color them. That was done. Okay, so where am I looking now? One, two, three, four. So this is one, two, three, or four. It can't be a one or a two. So three or four away. So this, ha well, actually, this is a one or a two. One and a two. So this has to be three and four. And therefore, one, two, three, four away is a three. So now one, two, three, four, five. So this is four or five away because one, two, three, four, five, that digit now can't be one, two, or three. So this is four and five because this had to be four or five because it can't be one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five away is a four, which puts four in one of those two. Now, this being a one and this being a four works. If this is four, this would be a minimum of six because I can't use a five. This would be a minimum of seven and one, two, three, four, five, six doesn't work. That can't be a four. That's the four. And now because of the two here, this has to be one and three and one, one, two, three, four away is one and that works. That one means that's not the one and that's the one. This is so clean. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a maximum of six. It can't be one, two, three, or four. So this is five or six. And again, this can't this can't be one, two, three, or four. So this is five and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six away is a five, which puts a five in one of those two, but that five looks down saying that's not the five, that's the five. Now How am, it's going to have to be these dots doing a lot of work at the end. And the five, well, what can this be? It has to be six, seven, eight, or nine, because it has to be higher than the five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has to be six, because I can't do a five further away than six. So this is a six. These are both five sixes looking at each other. That's very nifty. Five, 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 I've got that. Five, five, five is in one of those two, but that five looks across saying, that's not the five, that's the five. I've done all the ones. I've done all of the twos. That's a three by Sudoku, putting three in one of those two. Three, three, three is in one of those three. Three, three, that's a three, so that's not a three. Three is in one of those. If this was a three, that would have to be a two or a four, and it can't be. So that's the three, that's the three. These are seven, eight, nine. Four is not in either of those or there. Four is in one of those two. Four is not there or there. So four is in one of those. I'm not sure that's where I'm looking. I should really just look at this thermo, shouldn't I? Because one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this can't be one, two, three. So it's four, six, or seven. It can't be six. So this is four or seven. One, two, three, four. And this can't be a one, two, or three. So that can't be a four. That's a seven. So seven away is that digit, but this has to, this has to be four or six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, oh, seven. This has to be four or six and it can't be four. So that's the six and that's the six. 
and now all the thermos are done. Seven has to be next to six or eight, so that's the eight. These are now four and nine, saying that's not the four, that's the four. That's not a nine anymore. This is seven or eight. Eight is not here. One, two, three, four, five. These are six, seven, and nine. If that was a six, that would have to be seven. Uh, not sure. This is so clean. So far, I've still got a lot to discover. Because I'm now basically down to Sudoku, aren't I? Apart from this dot. Because, well, this can't be 6, 7. This is 8 or 9. Oh, the 7 makes that not 7. 7 is pointing up here, but this being an 8 or a 9 means this can't be a 6. That's a 7, 8, 9 triple. That's a 6. There must be an 8. That's odd, so this has to be even. That's the 8. That's the 7. That's the 9. That's the 7. That's the 8. That's the 9. The 4, 9 isn't resolved. So, this pair... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 go into those. This pair, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4 and 9 go into those. So the 4 here makes that the 9 and that the 4. 1, this is 7 and 8 as well. I've got to put a 6 and a 9 in there. I don't think that's it. What's this triple? 7, 8, 9. Oh, huh. there's no nine there. So this is seven or eight, and there's an eight. So that becomes the seven, that becomes the eight, and I can take eight out of those. The seven, nine looks across making that the eight, that the seven, that the eight. This is known. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a six. This is a triple. Five, eight, and nine. The eight, nine looks up making that the five, and I can take the five out of those. The 4 looks down, making that the 9 and that the 4. The 9 looks up, making that the 7 and that the 9. And now I've got pairs in these columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 4 and 7. There's a 4, which makes that the 7 and that the 4. This column is 6 and 9, which I'm not sure how to resolve. But in here, I have to put 5 and 8, which I can resolve. That's the 8 and that's the 5. This is 6, 7, and 9. There's no 7 there. Okay, so let's look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a 6, which makes that 9 and takes 9 out of those. So this row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's an 8, which makes that a 9, that an 8. In here, I need to put a 4. It's not in those or that one. That's the 4. I need to put a 5, which is not there or there. That's the 5. These are now 7 and 9. The 7 makes that the 9 and that the 7, which makes that the 6, that the 7. The 6 looks across, making that the 9, that the 6. 11 minutes and 9 seconds. That was way shorter than I expected, considering how little there was. But those thermos were incredibly powerful. That was beautiful. Okay, short video today, but that's okay. You've got two videos coming out every day at the moment, and I've had some long ones recently. So check the back catalog if you want. If you're looking for more puzzle goodness, there's nearly a, actually there's over a thousand puzzles. There's something like thirteen hundred puzzles on the channel. Go check something else. Um, ch go to the playlist section and check some of the unlisted uh, stuff or anything. The Bremsters unpublished puzzle videos or the Skilling Sudoku or the Race to 37. There's a whole bunch of stuff there that is not um, searchable on the main channel. Or just go back. There are three years worth of content on the channel. Go check some of it. This was great. Thank you, Arbitrary. A lot of fun. Really enjoyed this one. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying what's coming out. And as always, good luck with your solving.